You guys, look what I got. I'm literally so excited. I've had my MacBook Pro since like 2019. Yeah, 2019. Um, I loved it. It served its duty. However, it's getting to the point where, number one, whenever I bought it, I was um, like 15 years old and pretty friggin' broke, so I could only basically save up enough to get the cheapest MacBook. Um, and well, I got the MacBook Pro, but like the cheapest storage wise for that, which whatever, it served its purpose for the last five years, but now I'm at a point where my editing and content and things, I just, I need simply more. Um, and I, I'm out of my laptop era. I'm still gonna keep my MacBook for like traveling and things, but I got this bad boy. This is a 27 inch like monitor as well, which I'm so excited for because I'm used to a 13 inch MacBook. But let's open it. I don't even know where to start right now. I know I'm gonna wish I had this because I don't plan to buy another one of these for I don't freaking know, hopefully a very, very long time. So I feel like I should like actually film this. I don't know. The lighting in this office, it's not great. I casually have like, Christmas stuff. Okay, whatever. It's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> Baby, you're fucking. You're, when you turn, your head is in the corner. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, like, it looks so good already. I was working on my computer for a little bit and I just heated up some chili. I have like a massive bowl. Whenever I eat chili, I usually make it kind of like a taco salad. So it's like chili, a shit ton of jalapenos, a little bit of sour cream, and then tortilla chips like crushed into it. Here's a bit. I do have tennis shoes in my bag though because we're about to go play pickleball and I can't exactly play pickleball in these shoes. So there's that. There is the little update of what's happened Sha -la -la -la. working on the new computer guys it's so good it's so good oh, so fun i love going there and playing pickleball i'm casually putting you guys on the thing of pasta as my tripod right now but it's so fun oh i have the hiccups don't mind that every time we go though and also i was telling scott um i feel like i'm actually getting like pretty good pretty good at pickleball sometimes i was getting like mad before which of course i still always get like geared up because i'm quite competitive but now i can like actually compete with people and like have like real intense matches so i love that oh interesting i just have a keyboard coming i'm wondering if something happened and that's probably gonna come like tomorrow or something this is to go obviously with my new computer and everything it's the apple like magic track <laughs> trackpad i really like it i used it whenever i was at um the apple store and i was like damn this is really nice so it's actually cheaper from buying it from Apple, <laughs> the Apple store. It's like 139 versus on Amazon. It was 109. So we got it off Amazon. I'm so tired. I'm so smelly. I'm heating up water right now in the kettle and I'm going to make myself some ramen noodles. I feel like you can tell how tired I am by my eyes right now, but there's that. I think I'm going to end this off here. I'm gonna eat my ramen, get a shower, go to bed, and I'll catch up with you guys in in the morning. Oh my god. I have um, quite a bit of computer work to do. I need to prep for the work week ahead, and then also, <laughs> also, we're driving back then to Mount Vernon, and we are meeting up with friends tomorrow, and we're gonna go shooting. My one best friend, Austin, his dad has some um, property, so we're gonna go shooting there and just kind of do like practice targets, that type of thing. So, there's that. I'll talk to you guys in, oh my god, in the morning.
Everybody shoot with this one. Look how vibrant the green looks in the background. I know crazy? we look like um, we're vlogging our day one of like our um, nature, whatever. We kind of survive. Love days like this because number one, like doing what I'm doing right now and stuff with work, like it genuinely like I'm excited for. It. I have fun. But also, I love being able to like balance it with play at the same time. So like how things work today of number one, getting to spend the whole day with Scott. And then also like in the morning, spending it working. And then at about like 11 a.m. we went out and about until about 5 p.m. And we were like hanging with friends, etc. cetera. Um, I love that. And now here we are making dinner and then I'm gonna work for a couple hours more. That is like ideal to me. To mention, obviously that's not like a super long work day, but I do feel that I am my most productive whenever I'm able to just like have that workflow. These are what we got. They're from Aldi. They're like the bake at home baguettes. So it says bake them to like six to eight minutes. I'm just gonna pop them in there for six minutes exactly like this. And then I'm going to cut them open and actually like assemble all of the sub toppings on there. Hey Google, set a timer for six minutes. Also, I stopped at my mom's to, you know, pick up like the second gun. And she gave me this, which is a hoodie. It's like raw gear. Um, I've never had anything from raw gear, but the quality of this was so good. Like. We're gonna do turkey, salami, ham, and then I also have turkey pepperoni here. And then for the cheese, we're gonna do provolone cheese. Um, Scott will probably just do that with a bit of lettuce and mayo and maybe a couple jalapenos. I am going to do all of that. Plus, I'm also gonna add banana peppers and then some cucumber. You guys might be like, Kylie, you said Italian subs, but I don't see anything like Italian. We're gonna make our own little Italian dressing. I don't typically do this, but I feel like it right now. I'm gonna add the tiniest little bit of honey. The rest of this, I'm literally gonna keep so simple though. I just have red wine vinegar. I don't measure any of this. I measure with my heart. I have olive oil, salt, pepper, and lastly, a bunch of oregano. It kinda of tastes like it's missing something, but I can't tell. Hey Google, stop the timer. I really can't tell what it is, but we're also gonna put mayo on there, so it'll be good. I feel like that olive oil I'm using just has a very, very strong flavor. They smell so good. This is our first time buying like this type of bread, but I don't know. I feel like I'll probably be buying this again for sure. Do you guys ever see, I feel like there's multiple creators that actually do this on TikTok, but like whenever they make like beach sandwiches, that's how I feel right now. Like I feel like I'm like making a beach sandwich because those sandwiches they make always look so freaking good. Oh, I just realized what I'm forgetting, tomato. I have that in the fridge. Also, I feel like some people might be like, these are Italian subs. I don't really know. This is how I make Italian subs. It's definitely a very American way, I'm sure, but growing up, anytime we would say like we're having Italian subs, I feel like it was some version of this. This is what they look like. They actually look so freaking good. Guys, this is what they look like. Dude, these smell insanely good. Chef's kiss, look at that. Good morning, you guys. I ended up staying up last night for a good chunk of time and was working on just a bit of my website and things and kind of like behind the scenes like foundational i guess like business things i'm tired though i'm very tired right now so it's 6 51 in the morning i got up at like 6 probably like 35 i made my little coffee here last night i kind of went through and time blocked some things just so i basically like will feel sane um and I feel like if I actually go through and I like plan out my day and time block everything, it helps me so much because number one, I am really good about setting unrealistic standards for myself in regards to like having literally like a hundred things on my to-do list. Um, but obviously that's just not like possible to do within one single day. This is today. Today is a longer day at work for me. So still within my little morning routine period. And then from about like seven-ish, 
all the way to about 8.15. I'm going to do some computer work here for Creo Travel. And then I need to head to the office. That's kind of my commuting time. Obviously work and then commute home, dinner, night routine. And then I just want to take some time to read and relax because I know I'm probably going to be tapped and drained. And then tomorrow, so tomorrow I don't have to go into the office for my full-time job, but I do have quite a bit of stuff to do. There's like random little things up here also this is a little tip so obviously I do time blocking of things here but then if I have like individual tasks um, I will put them in the all day section and before I end off this video I do want to talk a little bit about I feel like I've been saying like my business etc but like not really telling you guys a ton about it um, so the new company that I have started it's called Creo Travel we're definitely still in the startup phase of things um, and essentially, I, I just feel so happy. I feel like this is the first time that a, like, I've had so many business ideas and gone on different little ventures, etc. But I'd say they always, like, I don't know, almost, like, burn out or phase out, um, quite quickly, too. I will start it, and then I start to realize maybe, like, how, I don't want to say how hard it is, because I feel like I'm never necessarily, like, not up for a challenge, but kind of in a sense like things almost don't always feel feasible to me um however this this is the first time that it just like I genuinely feel extremely passionate about it and I don't know why I never realized and, like thought of to do this sooner how it kind of came about was I was in the middle of planning Scott's like birthday weekend trip and then I was like as I was planning this it kind of just clicked in me I was like wait I love to create itineraries and like do all the research and details of all these different trips like I do it for everything and I've ended up I've always been the one doing it for my friend group like if we are booking a trip I am the planner I'm the one that is making itinerary I'm scheduling reservations like I'm doing all these things just so my friends can then be sent the itinerary and just simply get to like show up and have the best time and I absolutely love that and then recently you guys know at the beginning of this year I ended up taking kind of a random trip to Thailand with a bunch of strangers and that was the first trip that I personally ever been on in my life that was fully like that like it was fully planned everything was already like set planned done and I basically just had to kind of show up um and it was surreal that felt like I don't want to say the first vacation I've ever been on but kind of honestly like it was just so different although I love to plan I wanted to, I knew how special that was for me, if that makes sense. So, like, I wanted to form a, something that I could give to other people that are like me, that are planners, and give them an opportunity to experience what I got to experience in Thailand. So, that's kind of when the idea came about, um, combining me making the itinerary for Scott, I, like, really was, like, triggering it, but I feel like the foreshadowing of it was me, like, not knowing why I'm going on this random trip to Thailand, and just knowing, like, I don't know how to explain it sometimes things happen and I just know like that's the best way to describe it I in my personal belief I just think it's like a higher power of some form I personally I'm not Christian or anything like that I just say the universe like I do believe in a higher power and when something happens like that I trust the higher power my instincts to like lean into it and that was me whenever the Thailand thing came about I even remember specifically journaling about this whenever I was literally in the process of booking it um the same thing happened with whenever I got the house like very random kind of I don't want to say spur of the moment and like impulsive but also kind of like and but it's different than that it's different than just acting on impulses and such like something will come about and I just have this knowing of like I have to do this like I don't know why but I have to and that's what I got for Thailand and it's insane to me because it was like it's been like a domino effect since then I went on that trip I took the leap before that I felt like I was extremely stagnant and then I took that trip and then since then it feels like things have just like exactly that a domino effect of like okay I did that it motivated me then to attend other events and such so and July not only number one did I meet absolutely amazing people from that trip I took like another trip and I met up with the girls in New York we have another trip planned to Hawaii in uh, May um, and then also I got back from New York I went to Chicago and I met like a whole host of people and like this whole insane thing which then snowballed I kept connections with them and now literally next week I'm going to a Forbes event like all these different things not to mention obviously the start of the company like ah 
it's just crazy to me. I don't know. It's so crazy. I genuinely believe in, once again, a higher power of some form and like leaning into that whenever you get this like, I don't know, this feeling, a knowing is the best way to describe it. If something comes about in your mind and I don't want to say maybe it's delusional of me, perhaps, but you know what, I'm okay with it. But like I'll get these waves of feeling and it's just like a knowing and that to me is like the higher power sending some like a signal to me in the sense of like lean into that do it it's like then kind of giving me an answer and i don't know i don't want to say it's never failed me but also it's never failed me i feel like only amazing opportunities have come of it with all of that being said though um i'll share with you guys more details in regards to kind of like the company the details like exactly what it is etc but feel like if you couldn't tell based off that it has to do with like travel and planning and things I'm just super excited like ah I don't even know I just feel like things are aligning and it feels very very good to have something so like I don't know I just have a feeling like that I know this is right um compared to other business ventures and things like this like this I I see it if that makes sense like I see how this company and what it's about and the mission the values and everything like how it clicks and fits into my life it's like the weirdest thing but I don't know I get it and I love it it feels so nice okay there is that though I'm gonna go ahead and end off this here I'm gonna take like the next hour or so kind of get some computer work done before I have to go into my day job but there is that thank you guys so much if you made it this far um yeah there's that I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next video